Fury Unleashed is basically the new Rogue Legacy for me. This game is so ridiculously fun and so simple. It is a twin stick contra like platformer with Rogue Legacy style of progression and has co op. Now, co op is technically couch co op, but with remote play anywhere, you can basically play it with your friends. It doesn't matter if they own the game or anything. I actually just did it last night uh, where I had a friend who was interested in the game and I let him remote in and play as the second player. We went through and we were to play a whole bunch. Now, uh, let's go ahead and get into first. <laughs> Let's get into this part here. We got we got to talk about this for a second, okay? So, this isn't some kind of weird promotion or anything like that. Uh, while I was playing the game, streaming it, uh, a gentleman came in or somebody came in and said, "Hey, I just picked up this game yesterday. I loved it. I, have you tried making your face yet?" I said, "No, I haven't actually. Is it easy?" And he said, "Yeah, it takes like two minutes. As a matter of fact, I'll just do it for you now because I love this game." And I was like, "Okay, cool." So he did. I basically went. I made a couple faces, and he was able to put them put my put me in the game in the workshop here. You can see. There's a whole bunch of faces here. You can find some of your favorite friends uh, or some of your favorite whatever. Uh, actually, there's multiple pages there. I kind of didn't do it justice. Let me go back here real quick and uh, and take a look at my face. Hold on a second. Let me see. There's 24 pages of this. I believe there was considerably... Oh, no, it's not 24 pages. They're actually just per unit there. Uh, some of the icons are actually not loading. Uh, but yeah, you see, there's, there's some familiar folks, some Twitch folks, some uh, YT folks, and of course me. I'm somewhere in the mix. I have no idea where I'm at, but I'm sure people are using my pretty face. Uh, I'm really actually kind of glad that I got this haircut because if it's perfect for this guy's look, let's go ahead and go back. Oh, and you can control the head size too, which is great because I have a huge head. Uh, let's see. You can go and play with the regular character if you want. If you want to go through and play uh, hair and war paint, accessories, beard, like there's all kinds of stuff. Really gives me kind of like a metal, 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 um, not metal, well, metal slug in a sense. But Mercenary King's kind of, uh, uh, outlook. Oh, great. Now where's my face? <gasps> no, did I lose my face? Oh my god, my face is gone. Dang it. <laughs> oh god, it's gonna be one of the ones that didn't load, isn't it? No, that's what happens. That's what I get. It's here somewhere. Hold on a minute. It's gonna be one of these things that are not loaded. Oh, there's right there. Oh, yeah. There we go. A big check mark on it. All right, cool. Head size, let's go ahead and just raise that boy up. Look at, <laughs> there we go. Now, you, at least now you can see what it looks like whenever I get hit or whatever. Uh, let's see, go back. Now we're gonna play, oh actually, let's go ahead and go, go through some of the uh, the tree here. If, if you watch me play Rogue Legacy, which uh, quite a few of you guys did, um, if you watch me play Rogue Legacy, then you remember a tree like this. It's the same general concept where things get more expensive the more points you put into them, and then each tier unlocks the next tier, and so on and so forth. Uh, you get points. Actually, I actually have eight points right now to spend. Let me go and spend some of them. Gain additional health orbs for every from every boss kill. Uh, whenever you take damage, you become invulnerable for a short amount of time. Let's see. Killing enemies randomly spawns grenade supply crates. That's actually kind of handy. Increases your chance to deal critical damage. I think right now it's at zero. I can increase that to four percent. Incremental upgrades for a lot of these things. Uh, let's actually go ahead and put a couple points there, or a point there. Uh, more time for ink disappears, and your combo when you can unused combo shields are turned into extra combo time. Uh, let's see, increase the amount of ink. Ink is a currency you collect while you're actually playing the game. Increase the amount of ink, uh, and that turns into the uh, skill points and everything at the end. It kind of takes like a tally of what you've done so far. Increase how much damage points can a piece of armor, a piece of armor can absorb. Let's do that actually, and so we get this just stop shockwave. That's basically just a straight up ability. Nice. Good, and we'll go and spawn some more grenades. Grenades are very handy, and uh, dump the rest of the points here in that. Anything else to spend? Nope, doesn't look like it. Cool. Uh, let's see, going through, there's pretty much, oh, you can take my loadout, actually. Let's see, so I'm trying to start with a shotgun. I could start with a sniper rifle, so then there's one more here. Rocket launcher that I guess I gotta eventually unlock. And that's unlocked just through straight gameplay. You have different uh, weapons you can unlock as well, melee weapons, rather. Uh, that's all cosmetic. Uh, obviously, the weapons are, uh, the firing weapons are uh, actual weapons that, you know, shoot differently. SMG, shotgun, sniper rifle, rockets, but all these things is basically just swing. <laughs> and that's it. Let's see, let's go back, we'll play the actual game here. I'm excited. Very excited. I was super in this while I was playing this thing on stream. Um, just, just run after run. So let's go. Let's go over the uh, the moves here real quick. So first off, uh, double jump is in. Yay! You can also pick up an item while you're playing that could uh, potentially unlock a uh, triple jump. Let's see. You got the shotgun blast here and a right button here to a uh, right uh, joystick in to switch weapons, which I don't have any others. Uh, left bumper for grenade and then Y for your special ability. You can sprint. But when you jump into the sprint button, you kind of a dash there, right? Uh, let's see, and I believe that is... Oh, and grenade. Yo! No friendly fire, by the way. Oop. Oh, and melee! That's right! Almost got a melee. So kill a bunch of enemies here. You have a map. 
take a look at. I'll tell you where you want to go. Let's go on to the right here. And you can dash over gaps, not just the first one there, but the second one as well. And I believe you guys should kind of climb up that a little bit. So here we go. So we got some items here. Uh, you can link this thing to Twitch, and Twitch can vote for things uh, while you're playing, like make bosses harder or whatever, uh, or give you certain items. You have like three items all pop up, and Twitch can basically vote on which one they want, which is really cool Twitch integration. Also, mixer integration. I probably mentioned that too. Uh, let's see. So I get an M SMG. <laughs> we might as well get it just so you guys can see it. Oop, let's go and switch to it real quick. There you go. I still haven't used my uh, my dunk. Oh, perfect opportunity right here. Boom. Whoa. Get over this guy. Oh, got me. Let's see. Mail oh, this is kind of cool looking. Uh, 35 damage. Let's see the same amount of damage. Although I believe some of them do actually do different uh, different damage. But uh, when you use them as a, as a loadout item, I believe it's the same. Oh. There we go. Oh. Swam. That's what I was looking for. Oh, dang it. Spikes on the ceiling. Every time those things explode, watch out. Juice. Health juice. Oh. Got that wham now every time I drop. I like it. There is a pretty significant... Right now it's on low right now, but uh, pretty significant boost to aim using the uh, the aim assist in the menu. Like, it's almost cheating how... how actually, I believe, actually, there is, like, a cheat mode where it'll just basically target everything. Uh, reveals the entire map. Yes, actually, that'll save us a little bit of time. Let's see a grenade. I'm gonna take care of these baddies here. Let's see. So there's a box over there, and it's okay. It's, it doesn't really reveal the map so much as it just tells you if there's items in certain areas. So check this out. You have the ability to fast travel, but we're not gonna use it just yet, actually. Let's go down here and get... To get this area clear. Whoa. I should show you guys the automatic uh, fire here. Hold on. Let's see. Gameplay. Uh, bloodless mode. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there's bloodless mode. Crosshair. There's a ton of good options here. Aim assist. Here we go. It's on low. Let's put it on full. Easy mode only. Oh, I made that one. won't work actually because I'm on easy mode. That sucks. Let's put it on high. And you'll see just how ridiculous it is. Let's see. My good look, he's already aiming right now. Look at the background. He's already aiming at a, at a mob. I didn't even push a button. <laughs> uh, so this is basically you can trade some of that currency you're earning, that golden ink, and turn that into some kind of a boost. You don't know what it is until you submit. There's a bunch of different types of interfaces that pop up, random encounters, and they all do different things. Some of them will give you weapons. Some of them will give you multiple choice for weapons or items or whatever. Uh, some of them will exchange this for boosts, uh, etc., etc. You'll see some of them as we get going here. And some of them will exchange blood for uh for some crazy ability actually that's the exit let's not do that we're gonna get as far as we can here and then we're gonna fast travel look at that just lock just lock right on boy let me see here we go here's another one let's see do i want uh some more health i i can get plus 15 hp for 50 golden ink that is a waste of ink get these guys down here now there's a combo meter. You notice that the music kind of chills every once in a while and then it'll just kind of get hectic and crazy. That's because the combo is building up. So the higher the combo gets, whoa, the louder and more crazy the music gets. Damn it, I just lost it right there. It said good. That was an elite, by the way. The one that had the, uh, the yellow bar or shield around the bar. So let's go ahead and actually open up the menu here and then we could go and fast travel to this. You get three fast travel opportunities until you upgrade them. And you can upgrade them just through like getting, uh, uh, whoa, dang it. Just to getting items in the game here, or in a match. Oh my god, it's seriously, it's, it's, it's seriously locks onto everything, it's crazy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's definitely cheating. Uh, here we go, cluster grenade, that's kind of fun. Let's get that. We'll change it in a second, though. <laughs> oh, by the way, look at my face when I shoot. <laughs> I made all those faces on stream, man, in a photo shoot. <laughs> that was the subject, it was great. I got to wear clothes, too, it's crazy. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna dunk on him, too. Now, you can't dunk on every enemy. Some enemies will explode when you, uh... uh when you actually, uh, when you melee them, so... Or just kill them in general. Whoa. Quest completed! Unlocks a new starting weapon. So, I guess I got a number of 20 melee kills. Uh, I actually totally forgot to mention that, actually. Uh, so, yeah, it, that was, I guess, my third melee item, uh, the mace here. And so now I'm able to use that for my starting loadout now. But it's just for looks, of course. 
Let me see. So we'll go over here. Oh. It's hard because you want to build up speed. And, you know, once you start getting the hang of... Oh, there's spikes on the wall. Once you get the hang of the game and you start basically just speeding through everything, you start flying into rooms and then just start running into walls that are full of spikes. Or enemies that are just waiting for you to come in. Oh, oh it's my face. It's ridiculous. You just, oh man, you should, I, I, should, I should have recorded. My friend uh, got in here and he saw my face. He's like, wait, what? Wait, wait, what? <laughs> I just really caught him off guard. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm in a game, bro. <laughs> Let's see. And that's pretty much it. So we can go ahead and actually fast. Oops, that was my special. And we can go and fast travel out of here. Get. Here we go. So portals open six out of six enemies. 100%. Uh, Look at that. 100%. Okay. Ah, here we go. This is kind of nice. So basically it says uh, one target. So at the beginning of uh, every other chapter, you'll get uh, this guy will pop up and it'll give you some kind of special uh, thing to complete for that mission. Sometimes it's like kill the next five mobs melee only or uh, there's going to be a bunch of like this one. One target will be marked on your map. Get there quickly and kill the enemy receive uh, with the melee weapon to receive reward. 20 seconds. Oh, wow. Every melee kill extend the timer by five seconds. Oh, that's sick. Hold on a second. Where is he at? Uh, so he's right, down, up, right. Okay. Uh, music getting crazy. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. Boss mode. I didn't know it was going to jump right into this. Whoa. Oh, man. This thing going here. I've never seen this dude. So I have no idea what, we're, what, the expect, what to expect here. Oops. Come on. Come on. Cluster. Trying to jump and trying to shoot at the same time is very difficult. Just trying to maintain just a little little circle here to protect. Look at that. Look at that. Oh man. What do I get? A frying pan. <laughs> this is perfect for this, actually. Uh, melee damage 42. 10% chance to avoid incoming damage. Ooh, cool. Uh, well, it's not going to... So here's the thing. It's not going to last through the uh, through the end of the match if I die. Right? I don't get this thing forever. That's only a special mission that you get from a certain dude that says, here's this thing, go get 10 kills, 20 kills with it, then you get to unlock it for your permanent thing. Uh, that's not the case with this right here. Um, so I should absorb it and take the ink and just take the bonus from that. But it's a frying pan, so we're going to go and keep it. So there you go. All right. Oh. Oh, actually, I did not get the guy. Actually, look at the upper right corner. The timer is still going. I had actually not. I have not completed the uh, the mission. Holy crap! I I'm just trying to rush now. I was in the wrong room. Where am I at? No, this is the right. Oh gosh, he's over here. It's a good thing we built up some. He's over there. How funny! We killed that boss and everything. <laughs> <laughs> let's press B to get our reward here. Uh, let's see. Plus 30 health. God, we need that. Or, or a mystery prize. Let's go ahead and take the health here. Try to make this a good run. There we go. If you missed it, scroll back about 15 seconds and you'll see my face covered in blood. It's pretty funny. Uh, let's see. Healing orbs. <laughs> it's pretty funny to see my face covered in blood. Uh, healing orbs grant two more health points. Every time you absorb an item, you receive a health orb. Uh, every boss kill restores three armor. And then basically, but you read the fine print and it tells you otherwise. So you lose 30 percent uh, of your hit points, etc., etc., etc. Let's go ahead and take uh, every time you absorb an item, you receive a health orb, ten percent. I could deal with that kind of loss. I think I actually got more health out of the deal. <laughs> Not really, but oh, nope. ah, dunk on him. This guy. Yes. Now where are we, where are we at here? Let's see. So we go up, clear this room. That's great. We got to squeeze in a boss, man. Don't always make it to a boss in these runs. Actually, the uh, the person who came in and made the dang it, right into that, uh, made the avatar for me, uh, says that he's like well beyond. It's a multiple. There's like multiple uh, comic books that you can uh, build into or progress into that have different stories, different bosses, different uh, different backgrounds, all kinds of stuff. Would you just just just, just die? Jesus, this is a shotgun at. 
All right, what's this guy want? Let's see. Oh, dang. Uh, let's see. Increase ink collection range by 100%. Increases the health orb and drop chance by 30% from stomped enemies. That's kind of nice. Or we can go to the frying pan. Let's go get this. There we go. And I can afford to go. No, I can't get for anything else. Let's see. Let's take a look where we're at. So. Oh, let's go right here. Drop on him. Dodge that guy. Oops, right. Yes, yeah, good. There's another one here somewhere. Nope. Yeah, there is. Good. Oh my gosh, the damn thing's still on, isn't it? <laughs> this whole time I've been playing with the easy mode. Oh, hold on. I'll change it. I'll change it. I'll change it later. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Oh, man. These guys are messing me up. So you get these, uh, yeah, these special mobs that spawn, special events. There we go. Yeah. Look at my face. Look at my face. Let's see. Uh, hey, some shoulders. Dashing and sprinting ignites enemies. Awesome. Shoom. Sure does. Look at that. It's not bottom two. Oh. Oh. Get up here. Gotta keep that music going. Let's see. Now we're down to the right. Ooh. Let's see. It's up here. We're gonna get rid of that guy. I'm also gonna put that ink. Yoink. Oh, the whole time dodging all that stuff, I just kill it without a greed. Let's see. Finish off the next five enemies with your melee weapon. But that's the end of the level right there. Oh, hey, look at this. Okay, messed it up. Messed it up. Oh! I got dunk crazy. Let's keep going here. So we didn't finish the entire thing, but it's fine. You don't have to complete it. I beat the boss. That's good enough for me and for this video. <laughs> I was worried about that, actually. It's like, what if I don't get to a boss for a video? That'd be pretty embarrassing. Look at that. Knocked it out. And it is, by the way, a random encounter every time. Like I said, I have not seen that boss before. It wasn't like that was the first time getting to a boss. It's just there's so many of them. Like, seriously, there's so many of them. Like, I went through the, the boss atlas or whatever, uh, the codex, and there's so, so many mobs I've not yet even seen. And there's super bosses, too, at the end of chapters I've not even seen. Hey, look at that! Another boss fight! The Corrupted Hive. Shotgun blast, shotgun blast, shotgun blast, shotgun blast. Toss the grenade up. Toss. Oh, gosh. Oh, the aim. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was like, holy crap. What a lock on. I thought I had it, man. I thought I had that. But actually, there's a little bit of skill here. Come on. You can't deny it. You can't deny it. There's some skill right there. Come on. Didn't even have to hardly move. Bloodstone increases your health by 20. Let's take it. It's gonna be a good run. I can feel it. It's gonna be a good run. Let me see. What is up here? Ah, oh, we just started. We got to a boss already. There's something up here though. Let's see. Oh. Let me see. Some gloves. Ink collection rate. Wow, we got all kinds of cool stuff. These guys explode a little bit. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and turn that thing off. I'm not, I'm not gonna be a chump the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll put it on, uh, not on disabled by the way, not with the controller, uh, you don't want that. It's pretty, it's really, really hard to aim. This get, this at least locks you to the, uh, the, oh gosh, oh these guys got tongues! Oh, I'm getting, getting pooped on. Wow. Look at that stuff, oh jeez. Face bloody. Okay, let's see. Let's go somewhere else down to the left. Oh, oh, geez. Took damage. Oh, God, that too. Place dangerous. Okay, I was trying to hit him, but... He's too smart for me. Let's see, I have a surprise for you. Oh, 50, huh? What would I have to lose? Oh, uh, look at that. Uh, more armor, actually. Yeah, let's take it. I have stacked so much armor on some of these playthroughs. And then immediately lost it just just to just you know choking you know <laughs> you know we me how it is. You get a groove going, you're like, oh god, I'm invincible, and then you like fall out of their groove and just basically hitting everything with your face. It's awesome. Okay, let's see. This is something weird to the right. Go go go. Oh man, ate that as well. My guy is hurting. Oh whoa. Oh. Oh, 
busted. Uh, grenades. There we go. Here we go, some health! 30 HP. Boy, we're gonna let me just last. This is gonna be the best. This is gonna be the best dang any for breakfast ever. Come on. There we go. Lots of these guys around. Boy, you see that slickness? Slide right in there. I'm telling you, this is my game. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh gosh. And then I eat shit right there. Yep. As the prophecy foretold. Let's can make our way around this. It's funny, there's... Oh, God, I forgot those guys explode. For the hundredth time. For the hundredth time, every single time. Come on. Oh, God, these guys have tongues. Okay, let's go. Oh, jeez, let's see what this is. Oh, because I stuck myself in there real quick. Small donation, please give me something. Uh, reduce damage taken by 5%. Sure, I'll take that. Jeez. Oh, God. Oh, man. So hard not to push down. When you're floating in the air like that. God, these guys are just hard. Well, not really hard, but just like mixed with everything else. A grenade. Oh, thank you. Notice how I missed two shots there? That's how you know it's off. That's how you know auto aim is off. Let's see. Oh, just lost my grenade. That was awesome. Just gonna edit that out. Big ol' B. We decided those are murder hornets, by the way. So, Jesus. Oh, boy. All right, so here's one thing I don't like about the game. If I have a complaint, it's this. Oh, good. Thank God it didn't work. Uh, so if you enter an area too soon after you have left it, there's a chance that the projectiles that were flying towards whichever direction they were would continue on their path from the position they were when you left that frame. So I should have taken a bullet to the face, but thankfully that is not the case. Look at my face, by the way. Jesus. Like anything. Oh, right there, as a matter of fact. There you go. When I came back, you see all that stuff flying around? Oh, the ricochet! Forgot about the ricochet. Can I get this guy on a... On a, on a I can't. I was going to try to dunk on him from super close, but what's going to happen? There you go. Get out of the way. Oh, I was going to try to get the last shot in. Ah, oh, but suddenly Fury died! Hero level 34! Skill points 2! Let's see, enemies killed 134, max combo 14, damage per second 10.92, ink collected, etc, etc. 12 minutes, bro, man, I could have done better. But we did get two bosses out of that, actually, so that was really good. Uh, better than I could have hoped for this episode, honestly. So, I mean, overall, like, me personally, that this is a must-buy. Like, the game is $19.99. It is, for me, this is Rogue Legacy. Look, so look, here's the enemies that we've seen, right? We basically haven't seen uh, even a, a quarter of it there, or a third of it right there. Uh, the bosses, I mean, look. <laughs> there's so many. And then there's main bosses, nine of those. It's crazy. This is total play time is two and a half hours. Let's see, 1,500 enemies. Da, da, da. I mean, I've, yeah, it's okay. My max combo is 29, which is kind of weak. But, you know, usually when I'm playing, I'm talking or something. Some kind of uh, distracted me if I focus a little bit. Anyways, no, like, I love this game. I really, truly do. Definitely worth your time. If you watch me play Rogue Legacy and you thought, that looks, game, game looks pretty good, but it's quote-unquote old now, which it shouldn't be. You can still go and play it if you wanted to. Uh, this is definitely a game for you. Like, if you like shooters. It's like Contra, man. Contra and Rogue Legacy. What better combination? Come on. My name is Mike B, a.k.a. Phony. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys later.